OK, here's a demonstration of live voting on PowerPoint. And what I want the participants to be able to do is to log on in their phone and then vote on the question I've got displayed on screen. So I'm going to use Pingo for this. So if we go to trypingo.com, you sign up. And then when you want to sign in again, counterintuitively, there you click sign up and you find the login link at the top there. Another useful thing to know is the help and FAQ. If you go to the user guide, you can translate that and then you can just click on the uh, important links here in the index and you get to know how Pingo works. But hopefully I'm going to show you enough there. Once you've signed in, you get to this screen here. And the other thing you'll want is the Pingo free remote for Windows or Mac. If you click here, it'll take you to a blog and it shows a link to download area, but don't go there, just go straight to downloads here and you can download it from there. Now, here we are back at the Pingo start page. If I want to create a question, I'll just put new question here and multiple choice. This is for later. They bit that I'm moving. Uh, you'll type the name here and you can try test question and then you add in the options here and choose the correct answer and so on. But I've already created a question here. The next thing you want to do is create a session. So new session and I've created a session. All I did was just type in RLH course questions and created that session. So if I click on that now, that's got a unique ID. And if you look at my phone over on the right of the screen, you can see that uh, I've typed in pingo.coactum.de forward slash 472335. And so that's the web address they'll need to put into their phone to wait for the survey to start. You could use tiny URL to change it into a, a different type of URL, but this is a fairly easy one to type in. So what I'll then do is start a question from the catalog and I've got my question that I've created there. So I can just add that to this, um, this uh, RLH course questions. And it's already counting down because I put a minute for that question. So it's come up on the participant screen and they can just click uh, a button. Uh, you can see I've clicked an answer there and then click vote and it'll tell them what they voted for. If as a presenter I get bored, I can click stop here and it will show the results already and I can highlight the correct answers. Now, this is all from the web. What if I want to do it from the PowerPoint? Now, I showed you the Pingo remote download. So once you've done that, uh, install that and then to open it, hit the Windows key, type Pingo. It'll show you a folder, navigate to that and then there's an exe file that you can click in there and uh, that will bring this up and it stays always on top of your window. So let's open my PowerPoint. So I just choose the session I want to start with and then I tell the participants to log on to uh, the pingo.coactum.de forward slash 472335 and then I just go to catalogue and that's where the questions are. I've got a 30 second duration now. Uh, this is the question. Uh, and if I click start, um, it will load up a time and you can see on everyone's phones. Sorry, you won't have seen start. It will be, be, have been behind there. It's just um, there. I can stop it when I get bored. Uh, let's just have someone vote. Uh, let's vote there and uh, I can stop that. And here we are, here are the results. They've just pinged up on the screen in front. And then once I've finished, I can just close that and carry on with the presentation. Actually, let's see, slide show from current slide. There we are, that's a bit better. Let's start it again and uh, let's vote again. So you can see that that pings up and it doesn't interfere with the PowerPoint. I'll just highlight correct answers there. Uh, so that's all working nicely. And provided the participants have internet, uh, you can use that. Once you finish the survey and you want to get rid of this, you can sweep it across the screen or you can just close it. So there we are. I should have shown these first, but anyway, I've got the question at the end there. 
Okay, good.